you know, folks, old folks, everybody come, come to Kids Club and have a lot of fun. Please check your chewing gum and raisins at the door. And we'll tell you Bible stories that you never heard before. Hello, children. I'm Pastor Ted. Get ready. I'm going to read the Bible. You're going to hear a story. Meet Moses. He's got a beard. I think that's because he's old. What? does he have in his hands two tablets of stone with things written on them well what's written on them the ten commandments can you hear my doggy barking in the background that's angie the doggy she barks when i talk about the ten commandments well according to the bible in Exodus chapter 20, Moses went up on top of Mount Sinai, and there God gave him the Ten Commandments written on stone. And he brought those commandments back down and gave them to the people of Israel. That's the story. Well, we Christians today, we remember these Ten Commandments. In fact, we treat these Ten Commandments as God's law that tells us how to live. So what we're going to do now is we're going to talk about each of the Ten Commandments one at a time. What is the commandment and what does it mean? Are you ready for If you can read, you can read the Ten Commandments listed here on the left hand side. Let me read just the first commandment. I am the Lord your God. You shall not have strange gods before me. Now I wonder what this means. Let's ask our good friend Dr. Martin Luther. He wrote a little book called The Small Catechism and he tries to tell us what each commandment means. So Dr. Luther tell us what does commandment number one mean? Here is his answer. You and I, we, are to fear, love, and trust God above all things. Fear, love, and trust God and only God above all things. Young folks, old folks, everybody come, come to Kids Club and have a lot of fun. Please check your chewing gum and raisins at the door and we'll tell you Bible stories that you never heard before. Goodbye, kids. Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back to Kids Club. It's Miss Kim. So we are going to be um, talking about a new series of lessons over the next 10 weeks. And these are going to be about the Ten Commandments. And these are the rules or the laws that um, God has decided that we need to live by. So, you know, there's lots of rules in that that we're given over time. Um, our parents give us rules. I mean, what are some of the rules that your parents give? I know mine said I couldn't hit my brother or sister. I had to be nice. I had um, to finish my homework before I could watch TV or play video games. I had to make my bed in the morning. Um, there's other people that give you rules. Um, as you get older, the police. Um, kind of have a set of set of rules that you need to follow um, when you start learning how to drive you can't drive too fast 
Um, so that's a rule. And then the government, the body that oversees our country, makes other rules. Um, like we have to pay taxes. And that money then gets used for the fire department and the police and our roads and such. So there's lots of rules that we have to follow. So God has given us this, this list of rules or laws to follow because he wants to be in a relationship with us. And it's important as um, when we think of God, we think of him as our heavenly father. Just like you would follow the rules at home with your, your um, real father, your earthly father, you'd follow these rules. So let's look at some background as to what was happening during the time in the Bible that, um, that God gave us these, these commandments. So the Israelites, which was, um, we remember from our kids club messages, so we had Abraham and Sarah, and all of their descendants are members of the Israelites. And so they had been um, in Egypt for a while, for almost 400 years, being held captive. So they couldn't do anything on their own um, without the um, Egyptian government telling them what to do. So God finally helped them to be allowed to leave. And so... They're now free, and they have left Egypt. But God just told them to leave. He didn't really kind of tell them where they were going. There were no maps at this time. So they just left, and they kind of wandered the desert for about two months. And they're tired, and they're hungry. Got a lot of women, a lot of children, a lot of older people. And they're just not happy. They just don't think that God was taking very good care of them. And so they're whining. And this is not making God very happy. Okay? So God called their leader, who was a man named Moses, and said um, that he wanted to have a conversation with him. And so Moses climbed to the top of um, a peak on Mount Sinai. And there God told him, why he helped rescue the Israelites, and why they are his chosen people. And while Moses was up there, God gave him these Ten Commandments. And there, these include the following things. So over the course of these ten weeks, we're going to look at each one individually, but I'm going to give you the list right away. And Pastor Ted posted the list on his, um, on his message earlier. So the first one is we always need to put God first in our lives. Number two, we need to worship only God, no other gods. Number three, we only use God's name with respect. Number four, we always remember God's Sabbath. That's the day that God rested. Number five, always respect your parents. Number six, you don't hurt others. Number seven, um, when you get older, you need to be faithful in marriage. Number eight, you don't steal. Number nine, you don't lie. And number ten, you, you're you not envious of others. So you don't kind of want what others want and don't want them to have it. I mean, you can want something that someone else has. Um, that's okay, but... If you want it more than you want them to have it, that's not okay. So, like I said, over the course of the next week, we're going to focus on one commandment each week. And on the activities pages, there's going to be a coloring sheet that's specifically for the week we're studying. And then the other activity pages and the craft project is going to be around all ten. So the hope is that after these 10 weeks, you guys will know these 10 commandments and will have memorized the list. So that's our goal. So today's commandment is the first one. And in the Bible, God states that you shall have no other gods before me. So 
at the at this current time, that's kind of hard to tar, hard to understand why that was necessary. But at this point in history, uh, people were worshiping lots of gods. Uh, they were worshiping the sun. They were worshiping, you know, all these different things. And God said, "No, there's only one true God, and you need to worship only Me." So. What happens in life is that we kind of get caught up in things. Um, and God wants our focus to always be on him. So we should not love anything more than we love God. So that means that we can't worship money. We, we can't put money above all else, trying to get as much money as we want. Um, we can't focus all of our attention on TV and computer and screen time and that. Um, we can't spend our whole lives working towards success without putting God in our lives or beauty or sports, all of those things. We need to keep God a part of our lives. So, so I've made up some little pie charts, and this kind of demonstrates what I'm talking about. So the first one, eh, the first one, just kind of look at the sizes. I'm realizing it's going to be backwards. So as children, your main focus in life is to go to school. And then we have family and friends and screen time and sports and activities. And look, down here we give a little sliver to God. And God says, no, that's not really what I want you to do. So God wants us to do this. So he still wants us to have all of the different pieces. But he wants to put himself right smack dab in the middle of it. And he wants to be a part of all of it. And he wants our focus, once again, to be on him and how God can help us with all of these things. So it's important that we always remember God and always put him, always put him front and center. So once again, the first commandment is to always put God first. So will you pray with me, boys and girls? Dear God, thank you for loving us and giving us your rules to live by. Help us to always put you first in our lives. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, boys and girls, once again, you can go back to the Activities Club pages and print off the craft project and um, coloring sheet and such. And we will see you next week to discuss commandment number two. All right, take care. Bye-bye.